Hello and welcome to this awesome update on Euclidean Sequencer. Now, as most of you already know, uh, I wrote this app in conjunction with David Collett and I've teamed up with him again to produce a whole bunch of new features which I think you'll love. Now, the first of these new features was seen in the opening sequence and it's called Chase Mode which is an alternative to clock mode, the mode that we were traditionally used to with the hands of the clock that rotate round in various directions and speed. But we've now introduced a chase mode, which is available by long pressing on the mode button. If you see the Euclidean button there, it's uh, now got a little chevron in the corner and when we press that, we enter chase mode. Now this mode is far less distracting and we can see exactly what's going on within each band in terms of the timing of the notes. So we can see that little travelling dot that travels round the bands. And that's in stark contrast to the clock mode that we've, we've been used to seeing. Now the next new addition is one of my favourites and that's the ability to add repeats and glitches to individual notes. Now, those that are familiar with Euclidean will know that we can already um, edit certain properties of a note just by tapping on a note and uh, we, we can drag that note to a new location within the scale. And um, if we tap on the end of the note and drag up and down, we can alter the velocity. Now, if you notice the probability button here, when we enable that, we actually adjust the probability of that note. But also notice that in the top corner of that probability button, there is actually now a chevron, which tells us we can long press and uh, we can select an alternative option, which is repeat and glitch. Now, just like the probability, we can tap, hold and drag vertically to change the repeat count. So if I drag up, you'll see we get a repeat of two, three and four. So when I release, you can see that that note has been divided into three equal repeat steps. And the blue colour and the letter R denote a repeat. But if we continue dragging up, we get a random option. And uh, if we progress even further, we go into the glitch territory with a glitch of two, three or four. Now, if you double tap on any note you'll get this dialogue appear and this dialogue has additional options that are not available with the uh, standard edit mode so we can change this note to be a repeated note a glitch note or if we keep going we get to randomize which means it will randomize whether it's a glitch or a repeat or a repeat we also have a probability here so we can say we want a 64% probability of that note being a glitch or a or a repeat. And the repeat count can either go from 2, 3, 4, or we can go into random mode. So uh, it, uh, it will be a random 2, 3 or 4 glitch or repeat. So I guess this will become obvious when I show you an example. So let's start with just a single band and a bunch of notes and we'll go and add some repeats and glitches to those notes. on that note so we can hear it more often.
to the amount of reverb on that sound, it's not obvious that the, re uh, the glitch is just a, a repeated note, uh, very fast, and then uh, a sustained note at the end. If we uh, go into Copperhead and uh, turn off the reverb, you might hear that a little better. So that in a nutshell is Repeat and Glitch and a welcome addition, I think you'll agree. So the next new feature on the list is uh, Random Accented Notes and uh, this is rather useful for giving a humanised type feel to your uh, melodies. So as you can see here I have a set of notes and they're all hardwired fixed velocity. Now to add a bit of spice to that we can tap the accented notes button here and uh, this brings up the accented notes window and we can increase the probability and it will start adding various accents to notes uh, between a minimum and maximum threshold. So in effect this actually overrides existing notes depending on this probability you set. Now to go along with the random accented notes we also have a random gating function. Now typically the gating is set per band and is fixed but this adds a little bit more flexibility and a bit more of a humanistic nature to the, to the sound. So let's reduce the gating and then we can hear how this sounds. So those two new f features, the random accented notes and the random gating, uh, can be used to really add some human element back into that and stop it sounding so mechanical. So the next topic I want to discuss is uh, random walking melodies. And uh, this is an, a new mode which is available in the random uh, sequence generator dialogue. This is a new mode which uh, just in instead of generating a random sequence it actually walks a scale uh, to create melodies and uh, you can hear that in this example. So if we press the randomize sequence button we'll open up the randomize uh, sequence window and uh, I want to draw your attention to this mode here which is currently set to steps plus sequence. Now if I quickly change that mode to steps plus walk we can uh, we can give some examples of how this works. So if I just press the uh, generate button you'll see a sequence generated and you'll see the uh, it, it, it kind of uh, walks the scale and with an occasional jump and uh, that jump 
can be controlled by you um, and we can control that jump by tapping and holding on the notes button and at the bottom here we've got various random walk options now if I turn off the uh, large jumps the five jumps and the four jumps and ran randomize a new sequence you'll see that this is uh, it's it's using neighboring notes within that scale and kind of walking that scale you are probably going to randomize a few times before you find something interesting uh, but uh, yeah this is a, a great new way to uh, generate things that are, are more like the melodies that you, a human would play rather than just random notes now also notice the new repeat button that's in here and uh, when repeat is on we can generate repeated notes and if we long press that button we can set the probability for um, repeats and glitches and if I press the randomize button again we'll see various notes created with uh, with repeats because repeats were turned on so another new feature that goes hand in hand with uh, walking melody is inverse melody and this is a new uh, function that's been added and you can enable inverse melody by pressing the IM button to the right of each of the bands now you can see here I only have two bands uh, band B and band D enabled and uh, if I play that back listen to what happens when I turn on the inverse melody So as you can see this is great for creating uh, harmonies and uh, you notice there uh, turning on the uh, the inverse melody for each of the bands kind of give a different flavour to the sound. Now the last thing I want to talk about um, uh, and the only remaining thing for me to, uh, to show you is the new uh, polytempo mode. Now if we take a look at bands A, B, C and D you'll notice that I've used the same melody for each of them and I've also set the bands up very very similar now this is handy for not only melodies but drum beats as well it, it, it would probably be more suitable for drum beats but in this play, in this case I'm showing you a melody and what we do is we set each band to a slightly different tempo now they're only marginally different but uh, it's enough to create a phasing effect as the uh, as the bands play so let's take a listen <laughs> slightly drift out of phase um, giving a kind of echo uh, and it, it's an interesting sound as the bands uh, uh, become out of phase and then eventually they'll come full cycle and, and come back into phase again so what we get is a rather hypnotic soundscape uh, which is a, a, a very interesting and uh, uh, different uh, kind of feel to the normal modes
somebody that's had a look at David Collett's um, uh, paper on Euclidean, uh, you'll know that he's talked about this mysterious fourth mo mode, um, polytempo, uh, but we've never had it up till now. So this really concludes uh, what me and David have been working towards, and we've, we've now covered every single possibility in Euclidean. just about covers all the new uh, additions to Euclidean 1.08 I think you'll agree there's some really nice features in there and uh, and thanks to David for helping me out on this so don't forget to thumb up the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time